522 Ken Veron here. We're talking about Eat Lafayette campaign that's going to be kicking off and you've got a big deal that's going on over the Cajun Dope Convention Center uh, and it's going to be featuring the Louisiana Seafood Cook-Off as well. But you said this has been not just a success. It's actually been too successful. We've had a great turnout <laughs> over the couple of years. Look, it's a great party, Dave. It really yeah. is. It's 50 of uh, Louisiana or Lafayette's best restaurants that are coming out and featuring their wares. Uh, also paired with the Louisiana Seafood Cook-Off, which is also featuring, I think, four or five of our local chefs competing for that Louisiana uh, seafood title. And you said this is a great setup because you can go in there and there are 50 areas of places that you can sample. 50 areas, everybody's bringing their best stuff, and it's just a good party, it really is. There's just a lot of excitement. So. Now, how do you get tickets for this? Uh, I believe Ticketmaster.com uh, mm -hmm. currently now, and also up until the time of the event, the Cajun Dome box office will have some for tomorrow night as well. And do they have a limit on those tickets? Because you said that it's, it's a big deal. It's a popping event, thankfully. We're fortunate to have the, the support of, of uh, Lafayette, the turnout that we get. So now, how does that put Lafayette on the map? When you know, not just we already know how awesome the food is here in South Louisiana and Acadiana, but this has got to be for Lafayette tourism to really bring people in from all over the world. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's a, it's a great promotional event. Summer times, as we all know, is a little tough in the restaurant business. You know, people go on vacation, getting everything set up for school, return to school as well mm -hmm. in August. So this campaign is pivotal for our local people. You know, you have some good sponsors this year. Oh, we do. Uh, waiters. Been a, been a great support for us over the year. A couple of a couple other uh, sponsors, JD Bank, I believe, is still involved as well. And um, you know, it, it, it's the community supports it. It's, it's a wonderful event. Now, I found you on Facebook. Do you have a website too? We do. It's through LafayetteTravel.com. Okay. So that all the details of every event of the campaign are there, as well as what each of these 50 restaurants is bringing tomorrow night too. And so. I was able to go on the Facebook page, and then I was able to link to Ticketmaster through that. So it's pretty easy to be able to find your tickets. Oh yeah, yeah, pretty easy to find the tickets and all. So. All right. So tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to show the rest right? of the state what, how Lafayette can, can throw Excellent. a great party. You know? Excellent. Good to see you, so, Ken. Thanks so much for and having me. Good luck Dave. tomorrow. I don't think you're going to need the luck for sure because everybody loves to eat here in Lafayette, and that's what it's called. Eat Lafayette. It's the campaign starting. It's going to go all the way through the fall. 525 is your time. We're going to send it over to meteorologist Daniel Phillips. He's got a quick look at your forecast. Dave, thanks.